Hello everybody and welcome to this industrial design tutorial in which I'm going to show you how easy it is to sculpt this beautifully designed kayak model in Shaper 3D. In this exercise we will start by downloading actually the supplied raw model. The download link is inside the description of this video. You see all the sketches are in there. And then I will run you through the whole process of using the modeling tools in Shaper 3D to design this piece. It's actually pretty easy and fun if you know how to do this correctly. And with all that said, well, let me show you how to do this. To get started, we can select half of the kayak profile, select the sweep profile and call the sweep command. Perfect. Then we select this whole body, go to mirror, mirror this over along the scene axis, select both bodies, do a union, there we are. We can select a face and go isolate so the sketches aren't gone. And we, yeah, we kind of like developed a kayak that's totally non-functional. How do we fix this a design accident? It's not really a design accident. This is actually a really smart way how to design this. Look at this. I'm going to select all these faces and then, thanks to direct modeling in Shaper, I click delete and look at this. It basically removed all the stuff we didn't want. Now, this is pretty amazing. Okay, let's click unisolate. The bottom part is done. How do we do the top part? That's why I made actually these three sketches with the end, the center and the end. And really important is you see these sketches are not at the end really of the kayak, but a little bit to the inside. And then I can do a loft. Very good. So what's the whole deal about this? I want actually that this surface follows that surface. So click that surface, shift click that surface and then call the replace face command. And you see now how it's going to pull kind of like the surface of our source surface and matches it with the target surface. Click done. Select the lofted piece we created, we can delete it and there we are. I mean, this is just really amazing. This edge needs to be rounded. We can select it and then maybe to, well, let's say three centimeters. There we are. We see that in the front and to the center that changes. That's not really what I want. So let's go to fillet and call the cord with option for the fillet. That actually makes sure that the fillet really has a consistent width visually. Perfect. Sure, with that done, and then we can select these uh, remaining edges we have here and there and there. So if this one is three centimeters, all following fillets have to be smaller, let's say two centimeters. Now oh, it's a tick too tight, maybe one centimeter. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. So actually now, as you can see, no, the, the main body is done. This is now the, po uh, the moment where we can take a look at all the openings and how we can design that. I have here a sketch for a utility access and here I have a sketch for the opening where, for example, we sit in. So we can select both and extrude them down and push them into the kayak. See, that's actually pretty easy. It creates then these side surfaces, but they go straight down. That's not really what I want. So let's add a draft to that command, maybe five centimeters. So if we take a look from the top now, there you can see that that surface is slightly angled. And that's actually pretty nice. What about 
10 degrees. Uh, yeah, that makes actually the, the opening a little bit too small. So let's go with five. So in retrospect, for example, here, this kayak opening, that sketch you have in your uh, design, we might want to bring a little bit closer. Okay. Then you see actually <laughs> we are going to cut through the whole thing. Uh, it's all okay. Um, let's actually just delete this command. This actually shows you really well and the importance also of the distance of sketches to objects when we do things like draft. So here I cut in one more time. Very good. And then we do this, let's say, 10 degrees. And there you see actually the result isn't really that um, that bad. It's actually pretty good. So it was a good idea to get the sketches closer. Beautiful. Cool. Okay. Sooner or later, this um, kayak has to be shelled. So but before we do that, however, we want to round some of those edges, maybe one centimeter. Yeah, that's okay. Um, here, the inside, well, maybe we can do this actually in sync and also round those. Thank you. Cool. And then, um, yeah, let's actually, let's, shell the stuff. So we're going to select everything and then we go no, actually here and here and then we go shell because that is where we're going to open this. Um, For the thickness maybe half a centimeter so five millimeters and enter. Then we can go to a side view, go to section cut and take a look at this. This looks actually really good. This is perfect. Good. However, these edges here are not that perfect because I would like actually to extend this a little bit more. Uh, so how do I do this? I might actually have to undo this shelling in here and there. I need to figure out a way to actually extend this a little bit. So they are actually both on the same plane. So I can create a sketch. No, there we see. And then I say project this edge in and project this edge in. Thank you. And then I will go ahead and say you. Uh, can I do this to two at the same time? No, actually I cannot. That was worth a try. Three centimeters, very good. And here, three centimeters. Thank you, perfect. Very good. So I have to test one thing because I'm just, just trying right now to see how that works. So if I shell this by 0.5, okay, no, half. Uh, centimeter and then these I can select and extrude simply down by 0.5 so half a centimeter but as a new body yeah I would say actually that this did work out cool okay is there actually a different way how we could do this? Uh, let me undo everything. Here's the sketch. Um, I'm actually seeing like if I push this one in by, let's say 0.5. Okay, very good, no? So I depress this and then I select this and this and say shell 0.5. I have exactly the same result. This might honestly be a better way because, um, well, this is the original surface from this edge and this edge. Okay, cool, sweet. Okay, 
cool. There we have now our seat. We can do a very simplistic representation of the, the seat. We go symmetry, go to top view, and then extrude this one out. Yeah, let's say 20 inches. We can also select this one and go isolate. Do you want to sit on this? No, this this is not Star Trek and Klingon. So let's say four centimeters. Um, what is the material thickness? That is two centimeters. When this is four, then the outside corner to round has to be six. No? Four plus material thickness, two. There we are. Cool. This will be nicer to sit on. Trust me. Cool. Okay. No? Um, since we're working on the boat, we also have these handles here. There is a sweep path and there is the profile. Profile, select sweep path and sweep it across it. One of the really nice things about Shaper is how you can move objects around parametrically. So this one is designed. So we make a copy. And then we can move this, let's say, to here. Then we turn the copy off. Take a look at um, how this might be road, have to be rotated. So five degrees that way. And then maybe that way, mm, let's say that way. maybe a little bit down. So it's kind of like a nice handle that is, I tried to sculpt this perpendicular to that surface. So let's actually, can we, can we peek in here? Okay, so there they penetrate. Yeah, I mean, that's not ideal, but this is just a concept model. Um, This can go, no, and this one put it there, thank you. And this handle is pretty good and we are just going to mirror this over along the scene center there we are cool beautiful look at this okay let's take a look at the handle uh not the handle the pedal i do have this this and uh this and then we do a quick revolve flop then we have this one. Um, actually, this piece I just created, I want to turn off because I will select this, last this, and then I go to a symmetry and you know how thick is that actually? I don't know. So it's not two, two millimeters, five centimeters maybe. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. Beautiful. And then these edges we can round, uh, maybe 0.2. Then I can select this one and this one and do a union. Then now I can select this and say 0.1. Oh, yikes. What is going on there? That is not beautiful. Oh, this might actually, because this is not. Uh, let's say you cord like, oh, it doesn't work. Hmm. Interesting. So I have the feeling because there is an edge here. This is an unfortunate situation. Shoot. Okay. Point two. Oh, look at that. <laughs> when does that actually with point, point two work? No, but that is actually how I wanted this to look. So. There we are. Sweet. Cool. Very nice. Okay. That whole thing we select and then we go mirror to there, plonk. Uh, technically speaking, now these handles can be, you know, panels that can be screwed together. So I'm not going to join them uh, together. Now we are actually ready to go to the, the Viso. Uh, as you can see, it just has a nice bluish background. Now it's a little bit watery. 
then we we can actually work on the the pedal pieces there we are thank you and let's go to can be like a, a rough abs smooth materials are really expensive so maybe make this white and then these paddles i will select the faces and simply make dark uh, the same here just faces change this dark material very good no i said not i said these things can, could be screwed together so it makes sense to select these edges and then we add maybe a two millimeter fillet to it one millimeter okay well i guess i have to click on this one first what um edges okay that was my mistake okay what's going on here ah i'm in centimeters so point two um or point one this looks too big so in visu that actually looks much better cool okay now we have actually these these handles um do i go back yes i will go actually back first and for example i to be more precise i could say you 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 and you and say subtract so from these handles i would like the kayak body to be subtracted but keep the kayak thank you then this one we can hide and this leftover stuff for example and this is what's inside the kayak we can select same here and for example delete now again that this is not a manufacturing model this is just a concept model so there are certain elements which are uh, not really solved for example the seat is totally floating in space right now but it's all good so this abs material now we can plug onto the handles the seat and there and then what we want we can also plug this onto the kayak and then i select the whole kayak body and give this a nice bluish material there look at that to make this maybe a little bit more interesting so let's say um, we do have the kayak body but then we have a um, kind of like a more softer seal material so let's say this i can select these surfaces there and then say uh change material and that we're going to make maybe like a, a silicone rubber material thank you and then we make this darker cool perfect sure and i would say uh, the pedal is slightly floating way too much in space so let's select this one move this to here this is the lowest part this is where the drop shadow will be so we can put this to where we need it or want to have it and i'm just looking at the material and this actually law looks pretty good perfect so that's a process how to very quickly design a kayak model you see it's actually pretty easy if you break this one down into the geometrical building blocks and then put all these pieces together that's it